What's good, everybody? It's D. Brown Shanghai. And every year in NBA 2K, we see new game modes, and we have old game modes taken out of the game, never to be seen again without explanation. So today, I wanted to talk about some of the game modes that we've seen deleted that NBA 2K should add back. And while 2K never usually give us a reason for why these game modes are removed from the game in the first place, I think it's safe to assume that game modes that don't make 2K any money or a significant amount of money are liable to be removed out of the game without so much as a Twitter mention. But even though a game mode doesn't make money, doesn't mean that the game mode isn't worth anything. There are people who play all the game modes in NBA 2K, even the ones that don't require any money. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to start this list off at number eight, we have a feature from NBA 2K6, the loft. Now the loft was like this apartment that you could customize you could, you could unlock NBA player cutouts, you could unlock pool tables and whatnot. But when you bring this back, if they were to bring this back, it would be all about customization. I remember in 2K17, pretty much everybody I knew ran games out of their my court. You know, not all the time, but it was something that people did. That's not something that I see as common anymore. And I feel like if they gave us the opportunity to like, you know how we all have that same 2K18 DJ penthouse or whatever. If they gave us the opportunity to like customize it don't have to be like goddamn pimp my crib exhibit simulator, but just give us the ability to customize the inside of the apartment, put like posters up on the wall, allow us to continue to customize our court and walls and everything, but just add a little bit of detail to it so everybody doesn't have the same exact my court. And that will give you a reason to go to your friend's my court to play. It will be a different feeling going to different people's my courts. And at number seven, we have a game mode that is actually an NBA live game mode. But I'm hoping it don't ruin the integrity of this list because the game mode is actually pretty fun in my opinion. And that game mode is quick pick play. Now in quick pick play, you can play against your friends and you two both pick, you select the team or whatever. You can select any NBA team and then you proceed to choose your 13 man roster from any NBA players. This would be cool because it would allow you to take your favorite players and play against your friends using their favorite players. We all know how everybody in their friend groups love to talk trash about who's better, who's better, who's better at 2K, uh, what NBA players are better in real life. This game mode would allow you to select your own teams and take them to war and see who's actually right. At number six, it's pretty much a no-brainer. There's no reason to not bring it back. And I don't even gotta go into detail about why they should bring it back. But we're talking about park affiliations. Park affiliations added an element to playing park, especially when you were playing against like another, say if you were from Sunset and you came up against some, some rivet players, you know, it was a thing. It was a little beef team. And those tournaments they used to have pitting all the affiliations against each other to see who would be rewarded a new park was dope. And on top of all of that, depending on which affiliation you were with, you would get an attribute boost to specific attributes. That would be 10 times more appreciated in the archetype era and at number five we have the jordan challenge but for the cover athletes of every year now Dwayne wade is the cover athlete for the legends edition this year so they could take some of the biggest moments from Dwayne wade's career and put those in and have us try to recreate them and of course give us a reward for completing them as well as the standard cover we don't know who's going to be the cover athlete for that edition yet but they could have a challenge for those two and just give us rewards for completing all of those, be it VC or hell, maybe even bring back the shoes that boost your attributes like they did with the Jordan Challenge in 2K11. Just something that will reward us for this and something that would actually celebrate these players' careers. And at number four, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all probably saw this coming, but Create a Legend. Honestly, they could bring back Create a Legend without making any new additions to the game mode, and I'm pretty sure people would still be hype about it. It wouldn't be the most popular game mode on 2K by a long shot, it wouldn't be. But there will still be people who would enjoy the game mode, but the fact that it don't bring in money, but it, it actually could. It actually could, because you know, people are very quick to buy VC these days. But it would still be worth bringing it back to those people who love this game mode. And I can admit that there was a time in NBA 2K12 where I really got into the game mode. I started one with LeBron James, and I got really invested in it. And I really think if they bring this back, there will be some people who would fall in love with the game mode like I did back in the day. And at number three, we have optional matchmaking for Park. Now, Park in NBA 2K19 has been very interesting to say the least. We have people who run up behind you and they'll, they'll, they'll literally hop off of their court 
if they have a streak or whatever going on, they will hop off and send one of their little scouts to run up behind you and, and look at your, your gamer tag so they can check your overall just to make sure that you're not too good. If you're just a little bit too good, they're going to take their streak and they're going to leave. They're just going to, you know, they're, they're out of there. They're not going to risk it. Bump that. Real competition? Hell nah. When you add that plus spots getting glitched and numerous other things that happen in the park, it's very time consuming. And if somebody's just trying to grind the park and you just want to knock out as many games as you can in a limited amount of time, or you're trying to level up your player as fast as possible and get those my points, that kind of stuff is time wasting. So taking it back to the NBA 2K13 3v3 matchmaking will save a lot of time for those people who don't necessarily care about running around the neighborhood and hopping on got next spots. For those people who just wanna go and they wanna save their time and they don't care who they get matched up against, this will be perfect and this is what I would play. And at number two, we have playable celebrities. In old 2K games, they would have robust rosters of celebrities that you could run on the blacktop. And in 2K13, they even had the celebrity team. Now we're all aware that 2K scanned a lot of celebrities and a lot of influencers for NBA 2K19, but that was just for their my career use only. But they have these players, their Cyberface ID is in the game. If you know how to find, if you have their Cyberface ID and you play uh, 2K on PC, you can mod the game and put these players on regular teams or whatever have you. What they should do with all of these player models that they're not even using, a lot of these guys don't even play 2K like that. They got their body and face scanned into the game for their my player, and you, you'll never see some of these guys on the park. They just have that player. Maybe they're playing my career, but who knows? But what 2K should do with all of these unused player models is put them in a celebrity pool or something and allow us to just use them. Like, we can make celebrity teams or do whatever we want. But making these available to the public, I believe would be very dope and will lead to some pretty cool content. And for numero uno, 2K should bring back 24-7 mode. 24-7 mode was 2K's first version of my career where your player started in this street tournament and he would have to beat all these guys and then you have to play against NBA players and with NBA players and NBA legends in hopes of winning this tournament and making it to the league. And in early iterations of the game mode, you had to beat celebrities in order to progress the story. There were celebrities like Redman and Joe Budden and other rappers and actors in the game. But 2K should bring this back as a feature of my career. Of course, you could play my career games in the NBA. You could go to the park and play those. But you could also have the additional choice of playing 24-7 mode with friends or alone against squads of celebrities like they used to do in the game mode. I know NBA Live is doing this with live runs, but looking back at 2K6, 2K did do it first. And this updated 24-7 mode would tie into the previous feature that I mentioned, the celebrities. Now imagine you and your friends decide you want to play 24-7 mode and you want to knock out some challenges. With all these player models that NBA 2K has, say the challenge for the day is you're running up against a, a YouTuber squad. Now imagine running up against these guys with your friends to grind your player kind of like they do with Court Conqueror. And I'm all for any mode that helps me get out of my career and grind my players. And this would be especially fun taking on these YouTubers and celebrities. It would be fun and the fact that you're actually getting rewarded for doing it is what would top it all off. So that's all I got for you guys today, man. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. If you agree or disagree with any of these points on the list and if you have your own features that you would like to see added back to NBA 2K, let me know down below in the comments. And as always, I'm D. Brown Shanghai, and I'm up out of here.